Whatever our differences, our two continents share the same heritage, the same values, and above all, the same purpose, to promote peace and prosperity through freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. And to those objectives, we will remain committed. And this has been the European Union's goals since before its formal founding in 1993. What began as a modest Western European trade agreement in 1951 has grown into a commitment to the four freedoms, to freedom of movement, goods, capital, services, and people, a common currency and a common approach to foreign and security policy. And what began 60 years ago with the Treaty of Rome among six Western European nations has grown to encompass North and South, East and West, and uh, you welcome new states after the end of the Cold War. Now, with this union and in cooperation with the United States, history will attest that when the United States and Europe are peaceful and prosperous, we do advance the peace and prosperity of all the world. Our economies are the world's largest, accounting for half of the world's economic output. Transatlantic commerce supports 14 million jobs on both continents and improves the lives and well-being of all of our citizens. And so today, we reaffirm our commitment to a free, fair, and flourishing economies that undergird our success and to cooperation in achieving that. Maintaining and strengthening our economic vitality will require hard but necessary choices. Renewed growth means improved peace and prosperity for all. Uh, we must be strong and we must be united as well in our efforts to confront uh, threats to Europe's security and stability. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's heartbreaking to reflect that now nearly a year ago, here in Brussels, in the heart of the European Union, three horrific suicide bombings and attacks took place, uh, killing 33 innocent victims, including four Americans, injuring hundreds more. But let me say uh, to this community, the European community, your losses at the hands of barbaric terrorists are felt equally in every household and every heart in America. And you have our condolences and our determination to continue to do all that we can in partnership with the European Union and with all of our allies in Europe to ensure that such attacks never happen again. We seek to, uh, to take measures. And we call upon the European community to join with the United States in, in continuing to intensify our efforts to counter uh, the threat of radical Islamic terrorism here on the continent. Now, this will require greater coordination and intelligence sharing among EU member states and between the EU and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And let me assure you, the United States is committed to continuing uh, and expanding our collaboration on the collective security of all of our peoples. The safety and security of your, your, your union and our people depends on that increased collaboration uh, in the global fight against terrorism, and the United States will remain a full partner uh, with the EU and with all of our European allies to accomplish that. In addition to confronting terrorism together, uh, clearly we must stand strong in defense uh, of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of nations in Europe. In the wake of Russian efforts to redraw international borders by force, we will continue to support efforts in Poland and the Baltic states through NATO's Enhanced Forward Presence Initiative. And with regard to Ukraine, the United States will continue to hold Russia accountable and demand that Russia honor the Minsk agreements beginning by de-escalating the violence uh, in eastern Ukraine. We urge both sides, we urge both sides to abide by the ceasefire fire that was scheduled to begin today and in the interest of peace and in the interest of innocent human lives, we hope and pray that this ceasefire uh, takes hold. While the United States will continue to hold Russia accountable, uh, at President Trump's direction, we will also search in new ways for new common ground with Russia, which President Trump believes can be found. The United States' commitment to the European Union is steadfast and enduring. President Tusk, President Trump, and I look forward to working together with you and the European Union to deepen our political and economic partnership. We are separated by an ocean, but we are joined by a common heritage and by a common commitment to freedom, to democracy, and to the rule of law. And we're confident that that bond will endure and grow 
in the years ahead as we meet our future together. Thank you again for your hospitality, Mr. President, and uh, thank you all. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This 
This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service. This is the primary audio circuit for the Reuters live service.